I'm happy, ecstatic, smile on my face that I finally did it. I proved mom wrong. It took a lot. I say it with confidence, but it took a lot of effort. We should talk to strangers. How do we make friends? How do we learn things? How do we grow? How do we move throughout this thing we call life, filled with experiences and opportunities, if we don't meet people along the way? So I decided to do something different. I was going to take this idea to the max. I quit my job, corner office, fancy business cards, sitting in Washington, D.C., sold everything I had, my car, most of my possessions, packed two suitcases, and decided to travel around the world to talk to strangers. And this is what I've been doing. This is why I'm here. Australia, Fiji, Russia, Malaysia, Singapore, Italy, Egypt, Israel, Ghana, Switzerland, London, France, Spain. All these places. And all I wanted to do was to meet people. And then I started learning things along the way. And the number one thing I learned was, people aren't bad. Go figure. So here we are in this grand scheme of things, and we all fit into some type of demographic, some type of stereotype. And you always know when people say, like, oh, I hate women because they do this, or I hate men because they do this, or black people do this, white people do this, Jewish people do this. And if you've ever found yourself in one of those stereotypes and you say, but I don't do that, I'm not like everybody. I'm me. I'm an individual. So then I learned we have this stigma with strangers, that people are bad, that stranger is a bad person. It's a negative connotation. He's strange, danger, beware. But he's just a person. So instead of generalizing humanity and the word stranger to say that you should be fearful of people, take people as individuals. Because people are nice. There are a lot of nice people in the world. I went to some countries and met a total stranger who allowed me to come into their home, stay the night, fed me. I played with their kids. Total strangers. They had nothing to go off of but the genuosity, the smile, and just the genuine nature of, I just want to get to know you. I want to meet you. I want to share a story. So I started giving hope to humanity. People aren't bad. There are really some pretty incredible people out here. And I was only taking the time to get to know them. So then I started thinking that I'm being aware. Being aware that everyone is a stranger. Aren't we all a stranger until we say hello? I was talking with my girlfriend, Jasmine, and just kind of mentioned that, wow, at one point in time, we were complete strangers. Now look at us. So even think about your personal life. Your best friend, your husband, your wife, anybody in your life, everybody has started out as a stranger. And the only difference is that you giving them a piece of yourself. You're giving them your time, your thought, your consideration, a laugh, an experience, an opportunity, and it creates a beautiful relationship. Now you guys have something that you guys created value in, and you guys live life. And you start thinking, wow, I can't imagine life without this person. All these amazing experiences and things that we've been able to share. So why not be more cognitive as we move forward? To say, the person that you walk past, the person sitting on the bench, the person sitting next to you in class, might be able to give me those same opportunities in life. Might be able to make me smile if I'm having a bad day. Might be able to share something with me that might be the next integral piece to my success. Because sometimes your next greatest opportunity is the next person who walked past you. So why not be more aware of being? So now I start asking myself, why is it that people are scared? Why is it that people are scared? And I just kind of realize, because you are scared. You are scared. You're scared of rejection. You're scared of denial. You're scared of that your idea might not be good enough. You're scared that someone's going to make fun of you. You're scared that someone's going to laugh at you. 
You're scared that if you walk up to that person, they might not like you the way you like them. There's a fear. And look at our parents. Our parents are really the root of all this, because when we came up, what did they tell us? Don't talk to strangers. Rightfully so. There's a guy in a big van with tinted windows offering a lollipop. That's not the guy that you should be talking to. But in sense, didn't that same stigma kind of linger throughout life? Are you now an adult having that same fear that that person's out to get you, that that person is dangerous? But just kind of look at the milestones in life now. You were 16. You wanted your first job. You sat in an interview. Who'd you stand in front of? A complete stranger. And you had to confidently display yourself. Tell who you are. What are your skill sets? What are you trying to? Why do you want to work for me? But you're timid. Then you go to college. Now you have thousands of strangers. But you still have that same level of anxiety. Of wow. What happens if I don't fit in? What happens if they don't like me? What happens if they, they are dangerous? Yes, there are bad people, but don't let it ruin the bunch. There's a lot of good people. You should not be fearful of being yourself because we're all individuals. And it's the individuality that makes life beautiful. So as we continue to go throughout life, now here we are as adults, having to learn, adjust, adapt, teach, offer, share, love, one another. And if I could just reverse it, I would teach parents to teach their children not to go out and talk to a stranger in the street, but maybe the stranger in the classroom. Be more confident in yourself so that when you have an opportunity of talking to the next person, you talk so with pride, with confidence. And that's really what I've learned about traveling to these different cultures, countries. Everybody's the same. There's no need to be fearful because I'm an American and you're Egyptian. Or there's no need to feel ashamed or scared that I'm Christian and you're Muslim. Because what happens when you have two people who have two different ideas and you put them in the same position? Sharing happens. You take one person's experience, you take another person's experience, sharing happens. And then you start realizing that you become wiser, smarter, more aware of being that you're not alone in this world. So here I am leading this great new idea. As soon as I tell people, what are you doing? I said, I travel around the world and I talk to strangers. I mean, talk about an icebreaker when you're in a professional setting. But it's the truth. That's really what I do because I take everybody for what they're worth. I take everybody for the conversation that they have. I give everybody the benefit of the doubt that I'm not going to stereotype, I'm not going to judge, I'm not going to have discrimination. I'm not going to have any of that, because I would rather you tell me who you are than for me to judge who you are. So through all the different religions, races, nationalities, skin colors, just imagine a world when we all decided to talk to each other. Imagine how far we would go, because isn't that kind of the seed that built up civilization? Is that not how ideas were spread? such as a TED, ideas worth spreading? Is that not how cities were built? Is that not how ideas manifest into these great ideologies? Is that not what Facebook is about? Facebook is a communication tool built to link people over vast distances. But why do we only use it to talk to the person right next to us? I use Facebook to connect with people around the world to say hello, but also to say that I will come to you just to meet you. I have no fear, I have no reason to judge, because I want to hear it from you. I want to learn from you. I might have heard this in the media, I might have heard this on the news, but I would rather hear it from you. So that's why I talk to strangers, because I learn, I grow, I adjust, I sympathize, I empathize, I love. So here we are with this idea, but what happened? if the world decided to talk to each other? Where would we be? How far would we go? I don't know. Maybe one day, the world can come together. One person, one conversation, one stranger at a time. Thank you. <laughs>